Uh, so, welcome to the closing segment of Mock Talk 100. Uh, holy shit, it's uh, it's been a it's been a big big ride, guys. Uh, I'm not as I don't think I'm as nearly emotional as I was like uh, for episode 50. Uh, I think I'm a little bit more put together here. Yeah, the song's good, dude. The song was really good. So, I mean, what do you guys think? We did the um, we did the whole episode here, uh, nine hours of content. Uh, hopefully it was good. I know it was kind of messy, a couple of little audio hiccups here and there, and uh, a couple of late segments. But it's 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 what it is. Uh, it it turned out that way, and I I did everything I could. I worked every single night this week. If you guys follow the stream, uh, I wasn't able to stream like at all during last week, except for like I think uh, Wednesday, and then I'm not gonna be able to stream again until Wednesday again. Work has just completely screwed me over. But I'm hoping I still produce something of a show. It was something worthwhile, and you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and I, I, I love everyone that come has come on this show. And again, I want to thank Matt Hilton and the community team for working with me to get those Yoshida questions answered. Uh, I'll post those up uh, at some point. I'll post it on my website. No one goes to my website. I don't really have a very active website. Uh, but I'll I'll post it up there, and then I'll sit put a link on like Twitter or something for people who care about it. Um, thank you so much for everybody that was here on the show. And I, I want to personally thank them again. Uh, let me get this list out here for the people who are on today. Carrara, thank you very much for everything you've done. Uh, you are absolutely an inspiration and you helped me actually make this show work. I, I couldn't do it without you at all. Balana, Ark, you guys are fantastic. Fucking fantastic. You guys have saved my ass multiple times. Uh, and made really great conversations uh, in some situations where I was just stuck. Um, even I, I want, even if I didn't get like in a situation to where I was stuck, it was absolutely fantastic when you came on the show. Anyways, if I told you five weeks in advance, still you'd, you'd be a great guest. You guys have just been super accommodating. Uh, Layla Foxville, man, you guys, I love you guys so much. Uh, I don't know you as much, Foxville, but I know you now. I know you now, and I I, I could see what Layla sees. You guys are absolutely amazing tanks. and It's sad that you guys are kind of going different ways, but you know what? Layla, you're fucking amazing. Voxful, you're really amazing. Uh, and you have tons of knowledge to put out there. And I'm glad you could come on for an hour and share that with everybody. Miztech, again, Miztech, honestly, seriously, you have been a fantastic part of the show. Uh, every time we have you on here, you've helped out a lot. Uh, you, you bring a lot of your viewers over here to come hang out and say what's up and talk about whatever you, you're, you're fun to talk to. I, 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 I'm going to be honest with you. I can talk to you and I feel like I'm talking with a friend. I don't feel like I'm just forcing through some weird conversation with someone who might be a weird acquaintance, but you, you're an awesome person. Uh, Pook, you are fantastic, fantastic, super amazing. One of my favorite people in the world uh you work pretty hard to get to where you are right now and i'm glad that you've gotten to where you've gotten uh i know i can always count on you if i need someone to come in and talk about something and give a really great perspective um draconis and demo i know you both are uh we haven't really worked together too much but um you guys are fan you again fantastic i'm saying that a lot but you guys are all really fantastic uh you make content that keeps people playing this game and you keep everything interesting right you uh give people something to go to and and laugh and have feelings and emotions towards something that they're passionate about when they might not have content to do at the time but you still give us something to enjoy and absorb and i appreciate all your hard work goka uh you're goddamn amazing too dude uh you have been absolutely great to talk to every single time I, I need someone on the show you have really great recommendations you're also a wonderful person when you when you're serious about it you have really good conversations like today the conversation was wonderful and i look forward to doing an actual full show with you and keo uh so thank you thank you uh at this god i i could like drink a beer and talk to you about random bs no matter what it is i could probably talk to you it doesn't even have to be about lore uh again another person i could just hang out with and be super comfortable around with any time anytime and I, I need to get you on here more so we can talk more with lore uh, i feel like uh, when i first started mock talk i felt like man i don't know how i'm going to do a show every week how am i going to keep filling content in every single week but 
now I feel like I have too much content and like a week, every week is not going to be able to hold it together. Um, and then of course, Arthas, you're absolutely insane. Sometimes you talk, you talk a lot of really, I, don't take that wrong. You talk a lot and it's entertaining and it's great to listen to. Uh, and I mean, that's why you have people who follow you. That's why you have uh, the following you do because you are wonderful, uh, to watch super entertaining, super energetic, uh, Bach, man, I could talk to you all day about anything in theory crafting and with games. And uh, you have a really great mind for, uh, I don't know, the best way to put that. You're really stable, I guess, in a way. You ha- you're you logical. You think things through. You're not just a complete asshole. Uh, Zeno, of course, already told you, man, you're, you're fantastic in every single way. Since we've started doing Mog Talk, uh, you, one of your first podcasts you came on was Mog Talk, and I appreciate that. Uh, I mean, having you come over and do shows with us, every single show you come on is entertaining. I don't think I've had a single show where you weren't entertaining when you came on, even when you have like no sleep at all. Uh, so everyone who's come on the show today, it means a lot. And there's, there's people, uh, throughout the year who've been on the show and, you know, I, I have this whole list, uh, if I can pull it up and there's a couple of people I just want to make sure I mention, even though you aren't on the show today, you've been amazing yeah, there you go, dude. There you go. That's for everybody. That's for everybody, man. Um, let me go into this whole list of shows that we've done. I have like every single outline that I've ever done listed out here in a folder on Google Docs, uh, so I can never lose it. And then I have this schedule that I have, um, and a whole list of people who are part of uh, the show going up. Milo has been absolutely amazing when he's come on and he's getting back into the game. He's going to come back and start streaming again. So guys, please check him out. Um, Dens, you know, I, I haven't had you on a show a lot recently, but you've been, you're an awesome guy. I met you at FanFest. You, uh, you got me a little paladin pin here as a gift. And I appreciate that a lot, man. You helped me get the jacket. I wouldn't have that Final Fantasy 14 jacket if it wasn't for you. Uh, you know, uh, Chia for the shows that you came on absolutely fantastic too man uh I know you like your dog picture but that's okay it's okay uh and you know all the people out there that's been supporting me and maybe not even on the show like Muni, you you haven't even been on the show but you you support me uh a lot uh and it's funny when I actually talk about like there's groups of people out there who support Mog Talk a, a lot like Elysium you guys are absolutely amazing and uh treat me uh, as a friend, yeah, I'm not in Elysium or anything, but you're like awesome. Uh, everyone in your FC is pretty awesome, except for Easy Catka, he's a dick. Uh, but like, then there's Angered, who's also been really amazing to me. It's funny, it's funny, right? Angered's come on the show and they've talked to me and they've been really cooperative and they've always had great things to say and they they aren't completely toxic, uh, like you thought that maybe they'd be toxic, but uh, you know, yeah, he hasn't been on a show in a while. But, you know, I'm, I'm saying he has been on, but not in a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's been on the show, just not in a while, guys. Jesus. Sorry. I'm exhausted. Uh, Mookle Post, guys, thank you for so much for working with me. Uh, uh, Sage Reborn, guys. Super awesome. Uh, no, you're not toxic. It's been a long time. He's been in the last 50 episodes, though. He was on when we were doing the, uh, the, what you might call it, the reviews, the video reviews, but it's been a little bit, and he, you know, the keep casting, that's all me and you right there. Uh, guys, yeah, Twitch chat, you guys are fucking fantastic. Uh, you keep this going. Uh, you always have something to say. Uh, you keep things interesting and I appreciate it. Uh, Lucidity, of course, for having me in their FC, although... Uh, the only people from Luzidi that's been on the show, I think, is Call Me Hoops. Uh, he's the only one that's been on the show. Uh, all you guys who've come on for all the job quests and everything that we've done over the years, thank you very much. Uh, it's hard to imagine. I've done 100 episodes. And before, we would do episodes up to like four or five hours long. So right now, I have somewhere between... Or I would just go ahead and say, I have about 300 hours of content out there from all the Mog Talks that we've done. All of them. Uh, <laughs> holy shit, that's a lot of content, man. Uh, you guys could never go back and watch it. But you know, it's funny. I would go back and look at the analytics for uh, YouTube every once in a while, and I actually get to see that some people are still going back to 
episode like 37 or 39 when we had Vizino and uh, Layla on the show. And it was a warrior show. And some months, it's like my most viewed show. And I'm like, are you guys still going back and watching this? This is like not even remotely relevant now anymore. Oh. But all of you guys have supported. And I, I got to do a quick shout out. So uh, as some of you guys might know, I'm not, I'm not really big on like talking about uh, doing anything financially, you know, tips, donations, stuff. I don't, I don't try to advertise. I don't like even have it on my stream. Uh, I'm just weird like that. Uh, I can't, I don't like it. But I did start up the game with stuff and I got to give those guys who uh, are on there a shout out because uh, they are actually going out there and you know, giving me a cup of coffee. Uh, so thank you very much to all of you guys out there. Uh, let me get the, the list here though. I gotta, I gotta put the, the names down, right? Uh, where is it at? I think it's right there. K1 SPL, Mr. D81, Sharkington24, Dudas Antonio, Anarkin, Snarters, Deso, of course, Carrara. Uh, you guys, thank you very much for it. Uh, and... <sighs> All the mods out there, Snarters. Jesus Christ, I I, I don't know Snarters. Like I, I think I got you confused with someone else at some point, and I didn't like you for a while. And then I like realized how useful you were and how helpful you were to the chat, and you came in a lot, and you're always part of it. You've been an excellent addition to the mod team, so thank you so much for helping out. And Dudas Antonio is always trying to be here too. You guys have helped out and made this channel actually worthwhile. Uh, so thank you guys, thank you. Cryo, sometimes you come in and you help out. So I, I thank you too. You know. All right, uh, but guys, uh, this is again the very end uh, of the show. There's a couple other things I want to talk about. Um, let's let's pull up my little list here. So again, starting out with uh, Final Fantasy 14 podcasting. Uh, the whole idea was just to make something I felt was a void where I could have a conversation with everyone, and I feel like we've gotten to that point. Uh, we've made this. Uh, a situation to where people can come together from all parts of the community and discuss things that they're passionate about in regards to Final Fantasy 14. And I, I don't think that was there. I, I didn't believe it was really there at the time uh, that I started this. And so uh, I feel like we have accomplished that uh, exactly what I was going out for at the very beginning. It's been an honor to achieve it and going through these last 50 episodes seeing uh, the stuff that we've done, so much cleaner, so much better than the first year. The third year is hopefully going to be absolutely amazing. I'm looking forward to it. This third year we're going, I I'm trying to do whatever I can to bring good shows to you and make it to where every single week you're like, hey, I'm excited to go see this show. I mean, not every single week you're going to be like, oh, I don't care about crafting, so I don't want to do a crafting show. But I mean, like, when these topics come up, you can start looking forward to it and be like, man, I want to go and uh, watch this stuff. And it's actually useful. It's actually entertaining, useful, and worth your time. That's what I want to make. Uh, so third year, you guys will hopefully see some really cool stuff. Um, when, we, uh, when we start... <laughs> making this into something bigger. Uh, again, I was talking to uh, them earlier, uh, both Bolana and uh, Ark, about the future of Mog Talk and maybe turning Mog Talk into a bigger situation than just me, because right now it's just me and Kerr helping out. Uh, I, it would be, I probably need to start making positions and trying to get people to fill these roles and see if they can help out make the show actually happen. Um, that or quit my job and live in a cardboard box. That's the other other option. Uh, but I, I think I'm going to try this other option first. And we're, we'll see how it works out. Because I, I want to keep constantly improving this show. And this time next year on our third year anniversary, I want you guys to be like, holy crap. This is, this is the best podcast in the entire world. So um, thank you guys again for everything. Next week, I'm going to try... I'm going to try next week. Uh, yeah, you have to probably live in a cardboard box too, Carr. Yeah. And the dogs, both the dogs. Uh, next week, I want to get a show uh, together if I can. It's going to be difficult because I will be out of town, but I'm going to try whatever I can to get more consistent shows. Because, you know, we're on episode 100, but it's been over two years, and that doesn't add up, right? We missed like 10, at least 10 shows. Uh, and we've had to do that because of work or other things, and I don't want to miss any more shows. If I can, I want to have every single weekend. You guys can look forward to something being here on Saturday. 
Um, so hopefully next week we can start talking about uh, Final Fantasy fourteen and the state it is with how it handles gear and where it needs to move forward in the future. Uh, there's uh, Shaman Arc right now is already planned for that show. Uh, if we can get it together and make it work. And maybe that's an interesting show, right? Because right now, you guys are talking about the item. Like, I, I guarantee you go to any podcast uh, tomorrow or Monday, Tuesday, wherever. They're talking about the item, right? They're like, oh my god, the item's so fucking horrible. It's the worst thing in the world. And so we need to have a show dedicated about how this uh, game manages gear. Because it's a little wonky right now. <sighs> guys, uh, shit, I don't know what else to say. Besides, thank you uh for everything i think after this i will probably go pass out i'm working tomorrow uh and i need to get a little bit of sleep before i start that up but 100 episodes just sink in two years two years 100 episodes we've done it the show has been running for quite a while now and it's all thanks to you guys absolutely if you guys weren't here to want to watch this, then I, I, I don't know uh, if there would be any reason for me to do it um, and to help me out with everything. And I know I've, we've had our ups and downs and sometimes I get grumpy, uh, but hopefully, <laughs> I mean, that's just what life is, right? Um, and I wanted this show just to be a something more f- like super just ridiculous that you could go through and no matter what. No matter what person you were, you could come in and watch something and be happy at the end of it. Um, so thank you guys again. And uh, we will hopefully be back next week uh, for streaming. I will hopefully be back here on Wednesday again to start stream back up. And uh, guys, get some sleep. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching this. I'm going to put it on the, the closing screen here. Uh, and... We will uh, host somebody, and I'll I'll see if I can find someone to host. And you guys are wonderful. I love you. I think it's great that you've supported me this long. And until next time, be good, keep cool, and stay frosty.